Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. Hi guys, I'm Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Um, really quick, if you haven't subscribed and you're new, please go ahead and push that subscribe button down below. I would be super grateful, but let's jump right into this video. Today I'm doing a quick overview of some really good road trip hacks and tips that have worked really good for my family and my kids. So this is going to be particularly helpful if you guys have kids, um, little kids or big kids. Um, so let's jump right into it because I know a lot of you probably have road trips coming up. So watch to the end and see if you can get anything from this video and hopefully it can help you out when you are on a long stressful road trip with your children. Okay, so this tip is to have a huge giant snack box with individually packaged treats and snacks. Um, this makes it so easy to hand stuff back to your kids and you have it all contained instead of having everything still in their package. Now we do have a little thing right here that this kind of stuff kind of has to be packaged. It's not individually wrapped, um, so that's fine, but we'll keep it all contained in here. Always keep your gum separate so it doesn't make everything else taste minty. And then we'll have a cooler bag with like some sandwich stuff and some produce. But this is probably what we're going to be reaching for the most because I have a three-year-old or almost four-year-old and an 18-month-old. So um, I did end up sticking a bag of chips and some really yummy looking trail mix in here. Um, but other than that is all individually packaged stuff. So we have muffin bites. We've got peanut butter Ritz, applesauce, chewy bars fruit snacks these are really good they're like fig based brownies so it's less sugar and um, whole grains uh, and protein and it's they're really yummy um and let's see what else do we have um oh just a whole bunch of dum-dums these are like currency for my children they love these <laughs> That will probably be like our bribery when they're freaking out. And then Rice crispy Treats. I think that's everything in here, but this is just gonna make it so easy to have it all contained in one spot and just grab stuff and hand it back to our kids. And then for the rest of your food, just have them in containers or a bag. I just like hate when like the boxes of, you know, Cheez-Its get like smushed and like scattered throughout the car. It just like drives me crazy. This will help um, decrease the mess in your car and especially the accessibility of giving snacks to your kids. Okay, here is another good hack if you have a little baby or even a toddler that does well with a sound machine. This is called the Project Nursery Baby Shusher. And how it works is you click down below what setting you want it on. So right now it's on ocean waves and then you turn up here it's a volume button and it turns it on and off. Mine is running out of battery, so I need to replace the batteries, but you guys could hear that. Um, and there's a white noise setting, a shush setting. Let me see if it'll work long enough for me to show you guys. I'm gonna be changing these batteries out before we leave. So it's a shushy, <laughs> we think this one's kind of creepy. A shush setting and then there's also just white noise. Super helpful. You can stick this right by your baby's um, car seat. There's also a little hook that I don't have on here now, but you can stick, you can hook it to the baby's car seat or you can stick it in like the um, pocket in the chair behind the car seat. I usually just slip it right on the seat below the car seat and it works really well. So that helps us um, to kind of do the in the car naps because obviously when you're on a road trip, the naps are gonna happen in the car <laughs> or they won't happen at all. Okay, I just replaced the battery. So it goes quiet, louder. I like the ocean sound the best. It's like the most soothing. So I highly recommend having some kind of portable sound machine or baby shusher to use if you have little ones. Okay, my next tip is to have little prizes your kids can earn. So um, I don't get a ton of stuff because I don't like want a bunch of junk that I'm going to have to throw away later. Um, but I try to get things that are actually going to be useful and fun so, and also used in the car like right there. So Henry loves these Imagine Ink um, little picture books and you just use this invisible like this clear marker and it makes the colors appear. These are always in the dollar target spot 
or the Target dollar spot, and they're $3 usually. So he will love this and he'll use the whole thing up in the car. And then I also got some little baby shark stickers. We always bring like a little notepad for him to color in so he can play with these and, and use these. And it comes with like a pack of, yeah, there's 165. So hopefully this will keep him busy for a little while. And then this is the coolest thing. Um, it's a dry erase board set. I talked about this in my last video, but um, it's like a black light kind of looking um, board. And so look how cool it's like, I don't even know. Dry erase bright crayons. Um, and then you can also use them on the back um, on a whiteboard. So it's like a double duty kind of coloring board, but it looked really fun, mess free, which will be so nice. And then you just erase it and start over. So he can use this over and over again. It's like the perfect size for him to hold on his lap. So these will be his three prizes he can earn. And then we'll probably also have him earn like dum-dums and like muffin bites and some of the treats in there. But um, like probably every few hours, I'll let him um, earn something. Or if he's having a really hard time, you know, I'll try to kind of use that as some like motivation to maybe calm down a little bit or, you know, listen to us and do, do as we're asking, and then he can earn a little prize. This just kind of helps make it so it's a little more exciting for him. And I'll also explain to him the prize thing before we leave. I've done this a few times with him. Um, and that way he has something to look forward to because we're going to be in the car for 11 and a half hours tomorrow. So yeah, I would recommend getting a few little prizes, simple things, but things that will actually get used right in the car um for your kids and then they can earn them and then it, it will be like a double win because they'll be entertained by them as well okay my next tip is a really obvious one but it's to get all of your like tech stuff downloaded before you go um even though like we have unlimited data but there are many sections of this drive that will have no service and when you are driving on an idaho road for hours and hours you gotta have something to listen to. So um, try to download podcasts, audiobooks, whatever it is that you want. Download movies on your iPad for your kids. Um, we have a DVD player, but it's not working right now. So we're just gonna download movies for Henry on the iPad. That is a lifesaver. So even if you have unlimited data, make sure you download stuff just in case. Okay, here's another tip if you are a nursing mom and your baby will also take a bottle. I use this. <laughs> tip when I was nursing Ethan and he would still take a bottle he won't take a bottle anymore um and he's he's I mean he's older now but anyways the point is when you're on a road trip you don't want to stop every two hours or three hours or whatever it is to nurse you can get um like a car if you don't have somewhere you can plug it in you can also get an adapter for this but plug in your pump in the car and then just pump like wear a nursing bra or a pumping bra pump on the go into a bottle and then give the bottle to your baby while they're in the car seat and you can just hold it for them. It works so well. I did this a ton with Ethan when he was little and it helped us <laughs> save so much time from stopping and he actually did great with it. So you just kind of have to like obviously time it and pump when your baby's gonna be hungry um, and then bring like a cooler bag to store milk that so like if he doesn't finish, your baby doesn't finish, you can store the rest of your milk. Um, yeah, that worked super well. Also, if you want one more level to this hack, this is a portable um, bottle warmer. It works really well. You plug it in in the car and it warms the bottle in about 15 minutes. So if you can time it and work the timing out, it works great. I would highly recommend this one. I'll link the stuff down below too if you guys want to try anything. Um, most of the stuff is from Amazon as far as products I have, so. Okay, here is an app that my husband found called Spin the Wheel. And so you go in and you can add, um, do like a yes or no one, um, add your own in. So we made one called Car Trip. And there's all different kinds of options. Tell stories, car bingo, audiobooks, license plates, like where you find the different states. Um, music time, video games, tell stories, bingo. Anyway, and then you go ahead and spin it. Music time. <laughs> so then that's like what you do. So if your kids are bored and or they're fighting over what they want to do, just get an app like this. There's a whole bunch of them. This one's called Spin the Wheel. 
and then you can leave it up to the wheel so that nobody hopefully can argue with that and then you just go ahead and do the activity and then if you want you can hide the slice when you're done music time is no longer there and you saw all the little slices got bigger and then you spin again tell stories and you can hide that slice so watch them get bigger see and then you can go through everything or you don't even have to hide the slice you can keep them there and do things um, multiple times but check out this app it's super fun we're totally going to use this on this road trip um, we haven't used it before but um mckay has actually had this idea before and so he went ahead and found one for us to use this time check it out and see if it works for your family i'm excited to try it for us okay another tip is to take all of your medicine or vitamins that you might need and stick it in one spot so i've got ethan's vitamin d drops henry's multivitamins um, child Tylenol, ibuprofen, syringes for everything, a medicine cup, and a thermometer. Put it in one little bag, stick it with your child's toiletries, keep it in one spot, super easy to find. Because sometimes we've like not brought this, and then <laughs> whenever we don't, we have to end up going and buying all this stuff because, of course, a kid gets sick. So have it and ward off the bad vibes. <laughs> but also, it's just really convenient. And along with that, I always bring a little first aid kit with band aids. Um, just like antibacterial wipes and gauze. Okay, this is another must have for a road trip. Um, it's a car adapter, it plugs in the um, outlet right down at the bottom, but basically it has two USB ports and one regular plug. Um, it plugs in like the cigarette lighter. I, I don't know if they still call it that in cars, <clears throat> but that um, is what it plugs into. So anyway, it is really, really helpful. We even brought an extension cord for the iPad so Henry could watch his movies. Me and McKay can both um, charge our phones and have a plug-in at the same time. It is super nice so we don't have to use one um, charger only. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it gave you some inspiration for road tripping with your children and your family and how to keep things organized, how to keep your kids happy, how to bribe them, <laughs> whatever else. Um, but thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. We've got a fire in the tent. It's my